Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Wan Yong Sun Min. I want to talk about 10,000 things. So get comfy. We'll be here a while. Um, well, the 10,000 things. I love this concept of the 10,000 things, <clears throat> which um, probably probably most of you at least heard the, the term at some point. It's a, um, a classical or even older uh, Chinese concept. Um, certainly, you know, the, the term gets used a lot in, in uh, Taoism. It's not a Taoist term. I mean, it's a more general Chinese uh, concept and certainly used uh, to some extent in uh, Chinese Buddhist uh, literature. And so 10,000, it's just, it's a big number, right? It just means a lot of things to represent the whole, um, uh, all the, the massive variety of created things that emerge from, um, uh, emerge from Tao or from, from Wu, nothingness, emptiness. Um, and so um, it can often be equated with, uh, with form. And so, you know, think about the significance of the 10,000 things, you know, um, the, our sutra says, you know, form is emptiness, emptiness form. And so the 10,000 things, not as separate from Tao or Wu, but are the, um, um, the, um, the, the expression of it. They are con uh, contiguous with one another. Um, that's, you know, because the nature of the 10,000 things is, is emptiness. Um, that these, the 10,000 things emerge it's uh, well, it is dependent arising. Uh, the the ten thousand things emerging, um, and I I find this a really useful image. I go to back to it all the time. The ten thousand things, to for an expression of dependent arising. You know, seeing all the varied elements of creation in each moment, arising, uh, conditioned by one another, interdependent with one another, um, uh, interpenetrating. Uh, one another. And so for me, this creates a very um, visible sort of concrete expression of dependent arising rather than a, you know, a, a cold or abstract um, uh, sort of concept. Um, and so, and I also love the Jing, uh, which has a wealth of, of imagery and, and wisdom in it. Um, and it, um, if you don't recognize the name Yi Jing, I'm sure you are actually familiar with it. It's the, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe 5,000 year old um, Chinese oracle uh, system. If you've seen people um, using coins or yarrow sticks to craft um, a an image of uh, six, I don't know, I'll show you a picture of one. Um, so like that sort of thing. And so the Yi Jing as a book is a collection of, you know, if you got six lines that can either be whole or broken, um, uh, yang or yin, uh, if you got six of them and those, and those two possibilities for each line, you end up with 64 possible images. And so in the book, uh, each, um, each image then has a, um, a text that goes with it and there's various commentaries. Um, and anyway, I, I, love, um, I love this book. And, and one of the things that appears in it a lot is, uh, well, I mean, things like change and transformation, when to act, how to act, uh, but also um, the emergence of things. And the, the term, the 10,000 things, uh, appears uh, quite a bit in here. And the, the first two of the images is uh, heaven and earth. Uh, these are uh, essential um, you know, classical Chinese principles or, or images. And I love these as well. So you've got um, heaven uh, and earth, and then there's humanity, which exists at the interface uh, um, of these things. That the where the ways that the, these these principles, heaven and earth, interact with one another. They're um, it seems sort of a generative forces like yin and yang, um, roughly equipped. Well, it's a it's a great rich image, and so it correlates with a lot of different things, you know, yin versus yang. Um, well, I shouldn't say versus, they're not opposites, they're very, or conflicting, they're very complementary. Um, or uh, sometimes used to correspond to wu, nothingness, and yu, um, form or, or presence. Um, and so they allow for a lot of different shades of, of meaning. So this is a great image that um, 
ties into the um, the the for helping me understand the, the ten thousand things. So I want to read some excerpts from the Yu Jing here, uh, parts of the the first and second image. And so here's here's heaven. Just give you so you see what how this great text talks about um, heaven. Uh, all origins penetrating everywhere. Heaven is inexhaustible and bringing forth wild bounty. How vast and wondrous the heaven of origins, the 10,000 things, there it is, all begin from it. It governs the sky, the movement of clouds, the coming of rain. It gives all the various things their distinct forms. How vast its illumination of ends and beginnings. Um, the way of heaven is all change and transformation at the hinge of things, where the unfurling nature of each thing itself is perfected. It nurtures vast harmony and wholeness and remains inexhaustible and bringing forth wild bounty. Uh, when its dragon head rears up among the innumerable things, or the 10,000 things, it unites the 10,000 kingdoms in wholeness and peace. I love that. It's, it's a great exuberant text. And you look at some, some of the words that, that are used in there, inexhaustible, wondrous, um, vast, uh, soar, soaring, uh, change, transformation, harmony, wholeness, peace, uh, has wonderful associations with uh, heaven. Um, and then there's uh, and then there's earth. All origins penetrating everywhere. Earth is inexhaustible as a mare horse and bringing forth wild bounty. And so it is that when the noble mind had set out in uh, in the lead toward a destination, they soon fall into confusion. But where they follow, they reach the bounty of that wondrous host. Finding friends on southwest plains, losing friends in northeast mountains, the noble-minded remain inexhaustible and serene, and so come to good fortune. How perfect and wondrous the earth of origins. The 10,000 things are all born from it. The other one said they're all born from heaven. Uh, yielding and devoted as a river, it supports the sky, it carry or heaven, it carries things along in its generosity, joins them boundlessly in its heart sight clarity, opens them away all vast radiance in its embrace, and it unites all the various things, 10,000 things, in wholesome pen wholesomeness penetrating everywhere. And so they, a lot of the same terms come up, uh, inexhaustible, bounty, wondrous, uh, serene, generosity, uh, penetrating everywhere, um, just such... Uh, just such great uh, imagery there, you know, and so how do we, um, you know, under, and so rather than just sort of like vague sort of mystical uh, principle or something, how do we understand heaven and earth? Well, just go stand on the ground somewhere, you know, stand on rock or grass or, or dirt, and there in, in the midst of, of heaven, the heavens, um, you know, heaven isn't some thing far away there, right? It's, you know, it's, I mean, heaven and earth come together, and there we are at the interface of them. We and and plants uh, there in that interaction. You know the so coming from the heavens is uh, sunlight and that that heat and that hits the rock, warming things and and the air warms and and the interplay of these generating uh, wind and and rain and as those things interact, bringing forth uh, life that that great bounty that the Yi Jing talks about. Um, and us there in amongst it. And so stand there. I mean, that's that's not some abstract uh, thing or some sort of you know mystical thing to be poo-pooed. You know, we we live with it if we we pay attention. It's there all the time. And so as you stand there in the interaction between them, um, see the 10,000 things emerging. In other words, see dependent arising um, happening that the 10,000 things emerge from, from the play of those, those two, the play of heaven and, heaven and earth. Um, these aren't abstract and concrete. And so there, you know, you're, and, and it's not like, um, okay, this tree has, has been emerging for the last 80 years as it's grown. No, I mean, all of the 10,000 things emerging in each moment uh, over and over. Um, you know, remember, you're we're all part of the 10,000 things. It's not that I am one of the 10,000 things, all the numerous things you might point to constituting I, whatever that is, are, are all part of the, each, you know, components of the 10,000 things, and those and the components of the tree perception, all of that, those 
all every moment of perception is is one of the ten thousand things, all of those things binding together. So it's not tree there and, and I here or something emerging over eighty thousand years or eighty years, and then it, you know, the tree dies and rots away and then it disappears. No, in each moment of uh, perception and experience, all of the ten thousand things emerging from uh, from Tao or, or Wu or nothingness, emptiness or or whatever, and that all dependent upon one another, conditioned by one another, interpenetrating one another, and that is that that's dependent arising. And and so here, seeing in this this not abstract way, but this very concrete way, and think about the 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 language of the Yi Jing is, is so uh, so joyful and 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 exuberant, and so dependent arising, not this abstract thing but at least in our perception as we experience it it's this it's this great joy it's this joyful thing it's this um this this play this uh this bounty and so i mean you can see the ten thousand things emerging and then then laugh laugh with it it's extraordinary and joyful so dependent arising is, is bountiful exuberant uh wondrous it, it's change and transformation um, the, the principal themes of the Yi Jing, it, it's vast and inexhaustible. Um, it's the, you know, the Tao's, it's the Tao's expression of generosity. It's concrete expression of generosity here, this inexhaustible, ever renewing, beautiful gift. So you stand on that ground there um, at the, the interplay, in the play, like, play in the sense of children, you know, so heaven and earth is these children playing with one another and they're us, the interaction, that's the emergence of, emerging out of that play. We are that play um, or we are, you know, or heaven and earth as, um, as adults, the, the, the union of them, the um, heaven and earth having sex and we are the, the bounty, uh, the bounty of that, the joyful bounty. And so the 10,000 things emerging in each moment from that, not something out there, but um, we too are the expression, uh, the expression of that, um, everything that constitute a, constitutes us interacting with, interpenetrating, constituting every other part that constitutes us and every other part that constitutes anything in the cosmos. And that's wondrous and, 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 and beautiful. So, you know, delight in heaven and earth, delight in, in dependent arising. Um, and because the 10,000 things are the, the concrete expression of the generosity of dependent arising, of heaven and earth, of Tao, of Wu, as you delight in it, don't forget to say thank you. Thank you.